Hey you, yeah you, do you like your printer? Well, I got an upgrade for you. It's gonna make it way better. This is the Revo hot end right here. It's just another hot end, but it's got some cool features under the hood. And today we're gonna to talk about them. Today we're going to be going over uh, Revo hot ends, uh, specifically um, in relation to using them with uh, the S1 series of printer. Um, so I have an S or a uh, Revo hot end all in different pieces here with two nozzles. So I'm going to go over a couple of, of reasons why you might want to upgrade to this nozzle just while I assemble it here. Um, so when you buy it, it'll come uh, if you. Buy it as just the packs instead of the fully assembled kit. It'll come as all these parts. Um, the first thing you'll want to do is just take this spring uh, that's attached to the heater block here, uh, which is a nice ceramic heater block, which is the first reason why you might want to upgrade. Uh, gives you really fast and reliable heating, and it's, it's all around heating as well. Um, so it makes it very reliable. Uh, and we'll just click it into this little lip on the bottom of the heat sink, just like that. So it just clicks into place and now it's held in. Um, <clears throat> and then all we'll want to do next is install the nozzle. And this brings us to another great reason why you want to go to Revo. So I have a 0.4 nozzle here and a 0.6. You can see they look exactly the same, um, except you can distinguish them by the colors. Red is for 0.4, blue is for 0.6. So what makes these nozzles really cool uh, and really special is that they are both a nozzle and a heat break all in one. So that means that anytime you want to swap out your nozzle, you don't have to, you know, muck around with tightening them all up and getting it the right tight and, uh, tension and then, you know, have to worry about filament spilling out because it's all just one piece. Um, what that also allows you to do <clears throat> is it allows you to just screw the nozzle in by hand until it's finger tight and that's it. So you can unscrew the nozzle when it's cold as long as there's no filament in there and you're, you're good to go. So I'll show you. All that you have to do is take this nozzle and insert it through the bottom in through both uh, the heater core and then into the heat sink. And then we're just going to insert it by screwing it in and it goes a little bit and then we're just going to do it until it's finger tight. So you see, I can't move it anymore. And now your nozzle's inserted. So let's say I was printing and you know I had a nozzle jam or I wanted to <coughs> uh, change out to a 0.6. All I have to do is just unscrew this nozzle and this can be done on the printer while it's cold, just as long as there's no filament in it. So I can unscrew it by hand. Now I'm going to take my 0.6 and I will put it into the Revo nozzle. And I'm just going to screw it in until it's thumb tight. And look at that. We've just changed our nozzle in a matter of seconds. Even if you're not running a print farm, just running, you know, a home setup, changing a nozzle is a pain. I hate it. <laughs> it's, it's true. I hate it. It sucks. So if I can make it a lot easier, absolutely. I'm going to do that. Um, so just to show you again, I'll just unscrew this real quick just to show you how painless and easy this is. And then all you have to do, pull it out, put your 0.4 in my case back in <coughs> and screw it in and there you go. Done. Another nice thing about these is that these Revo nozzles come in all sorts of different configurations. So you can get high flow, which use, um, uh, partner with Bontech, so you get a, essentially a CHT version of this with the three boreholes in it. Um, you can get hardened steel versions, you can get stainless steel versions, you can get um, very abrasive uh, resistance versions, um, you can get the Obsidian X ones, you can get basically anything you need in these, in these and they're all cross compatible. So you don't have to worry about, you know, oops, I got a Mark 8 instead of a V6, or I needed this or that. It's all just one ecosystem. You just swap it in, swap it out, and you're good to go.
So that's been a quick overview of the Revo nozzle here. This specific one with this heat sink here and these cables is made for a, uh, a Sprite hot end. So any of your, you know, Ender 3 S1, Ender 3 S1 Pro, uh, S1 Plus, or the Ender 5 S1, they'll all work with that. Uh, it's an easy swap and replacement. You don't need any new hardware. It just plugs right in and, and you're, you're off to the races. You're good to go. Um, you know, it's a really easy upgrade. It's great to make. Um, and I think it, it makes a whole world of difference to the reliability of the printer and uh, that. And you know, those cold nozzle swaps, there's a big bonus of this too. It saves a lot of headache. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Um, let us know if there's anything else you'd like us to cover. Uh, any, you know, more tips or tricks, upgrades, any questions you have, please just leave them in the comments down below. Mm -hmm.